from the Cool TV studios in Lagos. And from the worldwide resources of I Missed It News, here is Red Eye. A show that looks over the stories you may have overlooked. Definitely it is Red Eye, the only show where our eyes get red. Not because we're taking anything illegal here, yeah, but just because we are on a seek and find and destroy mission. What are we looking for? Stories that make or should I say that don't make the headlines. My name is Bernard and I am the good looking and charming one. And very eccentric, if I do say so myself. But remember, I never do this alone. We have this awesome crew that money cannot put together. And first of all, I'll be taking them one by one. The very, very witty one is the one I have right next to me, and that is Titi. There is nobody money cannot put together. Please bring the money you have us <laughs> hey, together. <laughs> okay, bring the money and we're going to be there. That's what Titi says. <laughs> and right after Titi here, we have Big Jeff, Jeffrey Ebay. And Jeff is the man who has a very simple answer Greetings, to my people. any question. Greetings to you, my people. You're welcome again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Let's and do this. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Oh, I left it. You left it back. Yeah, I left nah, it. Nah, please get it after the show. <laughs> I will, I will. And last but not least, of course, is the man himself, six foot six, model extraordinaire, presenter OAP, and that is talking about none other but Chukudi himself. Chukudi, maverick, witty, spontaneous, and the only serious member of the panel. The guy had these smiles. It's really serious to keep a straight face with all this. But the, I'll try. The straight face would have been. Look at you. You can do it. 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 You can do I don't know what kind of headlines they, 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 they will be making. Anyways, without much ado, I would like to run straight into the stories that we have today. Uh, just looking at the stories made me crack a couple of ribs. Anyway, first of all, um, there's this very funny one. I'm going to start straight, you know, straight here from Nigeria, where uh, a Nigerian man lands in hot soup. Now, this is speaking literally and figuratively now. He lands in hot soup. Right, now, the story goes that this man, uh, you know, um, took some stuff to a city in Mexico, right? And then when he was searched, what they found were stuff like um, ugu leaves, um, stockfish, uh -uh. you know, and uh, the regular things that Nigerians will use to prepare soup. These are but eventually, stuffs. you know, but eventually when, <laughs> when his, his luggage was searched and sniffed by sniffer dogs, yeah. what they got were stuff that they thought were ingredients to, or condiments to make a local drug back here in Nigeria. And the man was locked up for two days. Can you believe that? Wow. Two whole days. I think this is a classical <laughs> case of one man's food is another man's poison. Well, I tell you that. A goosey soup. soup. Oh. But you, you, you know what I want to hear? I want to, Titi being the lady here, I want to hear okay. what you think. Imagine you're traveling, right, and you're going to cook for somebody. Say, now nah, this is Mexico. You're going to cook for somebody in Mexico, and then you are stopped and you are told, Madam, we are sorry that um, the things you are carrying, you will say you won't use them to cook. These are samples for drugs. What would you do? First of all, it's Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'm so sorry, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what will I do? Mm -hmm. Well, if it's someone I love, mm -hmm. I'm going to package it yeah. well. He, he, he didn't package it well, is the truth. I mean, you can't be taking Ugu and just put it in your traveling bag. Then I will call it drugs. Oh. Put it, package it properly in a, in, in a newspaper, especially newspaper dealing with odd stories like we discuss here. Mm -hmm. Wrap it with a rubber band. Put it, you know, there's a way you can package it neatly. Even if it's Coke, they'll say, ah, this must be good Coke. It's <laughs> so a bad bag. <laughs> packaging is everything, right? Yes. For me, I, I, I think no, no. the mm -hmm. operatives in, um, in, Me in Mexico, exactly. yeah. in Mexico mm -hmm. should um, really have their head examined. Come on. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. What, what is, what is, no. Ugu no. leaves? My brother is not their fault. My brother is not their fault. Even, <laughs> here, even here in Nigeria, actually, sir, there are some people that they actually get confused. 
They don't even know some certain leaves here in Nigeria. So you don't need to blame those people. It's, it's, I'm you telling know, you. For, you know the drugs we yes. take, for example, some of them have cocaine in them, but in yeah, little quantity. Of mm -hmm. So it's possible that this uh, ugu leaf has something in it that is And I'm very sure that ugu leaf is fresh. You know ugu leaf, when it's fresh, it looks very hard and it looks like... So it's not their fault. Yeah, if it was fresh, why was it inside this box? Obviously, don't fry. What's wrong with you? No, 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 no. Jeff, Jeff is taking it personal. You know, people people don't joke with food. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nah, true. Nah. So so our just, you see, it would have been killed for nothing our, now. Is our, is, soup is our soup. Imagine. It's our own identity. Bernard, please, that's what we want. Let's leave. I mean, it's just this. You guys are making me hungry, man. Anyway, moving on. Now, this one, this one I take personal and serious. Okay. This next story. Now, um, well, you know, it's the beginning of the year, right? And a couple of churches and religious bodies have been taking on some spiritual exercises, so to say, particularly prayer and fasting. Now, there's this young man, I would mm -hmm. say, 27 years old, mm -hmm. who actually was taking on one of these spiritual, um, well, I say, exercises, and he found that, that everything was going on quite well. He was able to abstain from food and water. But eventually, there was one last thing mm -hmm. that was hindering everything. <laughs> you, oh, <geez. laughs> It's on your faces Say like this, man. <laughs> Talking about it already gives me the creeps. I'm having goose pimples going all over my body. <laughs> Anyways, this young man, says that he had been able to pray and fast and mm. abstain from food and water. Yeah. But one issue he had was that he was having consistent erections. Are you kidding? Mm. And because of that, he, he, will I say, he went to the portion of the Bible that says, if your eye causes you to sin, take it out. If your left hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Don't tell me he took it out. My brother. Please, the please, spirit please, is willing, please, but please. the flesh is willing. <laughs> oh my God. You, know what, you know what I think? Yes. I want, right about now, as the only serious member of this mm. panel, mm. I would want to declare mm. that there's a change to this popular phrase. Mm. A hungry man is an angry man. Okay. Let it now become, a hungry man is... is replace the angry with honey. <laughs> <laughs> honey. <laughs> well, how can you, not, not how can you be off water God. and food for... A particular period of time, and you are still having consistent How many days? erections. It was supposed to be 20, 21 Just 21 days, days only, yeah. and he took it out. You know what? I'll, 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 read, out, <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll read out what oh. exactly he said, and then we, and you guys can even, you know, get to talk about it. Now, he says that the penis has a mind of its own, wow. and it's capable King, of yeah. doing things which are totally out of my control. I usually get erect every now and then. And he used the words, Konji sets in, in his words, not mine. And then he, he continues and he goes on to say, and you know that Konji is one of the things that leads people into sin. The erections were making me weaker spiritually and in, and in the fast. That is why I cut it off. Even Jesus Christ said that when we cut off anything which will make, even Jesus Christ said, I beg your pardon, that we should cut off anything that will You know, I just have to say, I commend oh. this man for being so intelligent and being mm -hmm. a wise man to be <laughs> able to cut that thing off. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, what is it? It is just sex. Eh? Sex is not food. What it is saying? not money. If, it, if you know that it's not doing anything good for you, in fact, I, if, if more men in Nigeria yeah. could hey. cut this off, I'm telling you, we will not what have children, four children on the streets. Quick baby. question. That's it's not, it's not will you adopt the soldering iron kai, kai, technique? Kai, kai. Like to seal up the, to seal up, like seal up the surface of. Well, if people can be monks and if people can be reverend fathers, I don't see the reason why it shouldn't cut. Hello, off. monks and reverend fathers. Uh, wait, wait, did they, did they cut their own But they are not using it, so it's practically useless. <laughs> it's still there for emergency in case, <laughs> exactly. in case of anyway, necessity. To my dear brother, to tell me. Off, I would like no, to that say guy, that guy has a problem. Oh, I want gosh. to believe every man has erections, uh, and uh, well, for me, for one, my erection doesn't cause me to sin. Just saying. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. I don't know if you could is laughing. I mean, <laughs> I'm very sure that guy is jobless. You know, when, and, you, well, when, I, you, I when you use words like erection in a oh, sentence. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it sparks up certain yeah. stuff. Now, this, this, this one is quite interesting. Um, first of all, I, I don't know why I, I want to direct this question to Jeff. Okay. How many, how many cans of beer would it take you before you get high? Okay, as an individual. Let no, me no, say no. That. You did not do it well. You said very simple. Mm. He, didn't, he, didn't ask, he didn't call the name. Okay, dear Jeff. Say dear, dear Jeff. Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I'm with you. Very simple. Very How gentleman. many cans of beer okay. would it take you before you get high? Well, it depends on your body proportion. Very, I'm, very, I'm very simple. You, you, not any Me, food. myself? Yes, personally. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, let me, I don't get high. <laughs> At all. Uh, because, no, no, I don't get high. Just Even if you take because, the... no, I, no, 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 I don't get high because I've been what? taught on how to take alcohol. Okay. Hmm. So we know the actual proportion. We know how we blend it into our body. He's saying how many will you take but, to get high? Okay, okay to get high. Um, the, the, the reason why I'm asking no, you, Jeff, is high. because this particular, <laughs> story, this particular story is not even about a person getting high. Yes. <laughs> a pig, hmm? a pig got high on taking alcohol. 
Are you serious? Believe it or not, a pig got high on taking alcohol. Now, here's what happened. Now, this pig, um, Swino, that's the pig's name, all right? Yeah, the pig took, or should I say, ingested 18 cans of beer. 18, 18. cans. I can't go beyond three. Oh, 18 cans. I mean, who no, gives, no, no, who no, gives no, no, a no. can of beer to a pig? To a pig. How you can, have how? to open the can. There's Before a technique. Now, so that, what, who gives it? That, come that, on. That, that, that's Did this happen in Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Maybe she direct that to Titi. <laughs> you know She's good in geography. I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, first of all, pigs are, are known to be, mm. you know, aggressive on the yeah. yes. So there's nothing wrong with them popping some cans. How did that Animals pig, how did you get that access to the can? How, how Even come? more intelligent than certain men. Wow. That this, is one why you this one you're having beef with men. This one you're having beef with men now. I don't understand. You, you didn't say this one you're not comparing pig with men. men. You know, yeah? below the belt. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. That is, that is a soccer punch. And I will not take that sitting. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I will take it standing. But, 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 <laughs> but, but, but I think people who protect uh, the rights of animals should do something about this. I mean, who pops a can for you? Who pops a... Oh, please, the man? pig had fun. People who have uh, should protect the My items. question but is, how come? How did the pig get access to anyway, those 18? 18 cans. 18. 18, not one, not two, not three, 18. Do you know how many is left to make a, 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 a full... A full um, <laughs> is that your problem? No, you knows, <laughs> you would know. Anyway, but the interesting thing is, after ingesting those 18, or after taking 18 cans of beer, the pig had so much confidence yeah. that it was able to take on a cow. Wow. Mm -hmm. In the wow. Past. It took on a cow. Wow. Now, well, it, it was a it was a rugged fight, like I would want to believe. But the unfortunate thing is, the pig then passed out drunk under a tree after wow. taking. I'm not surprised. Some people don't, don't don't even take up to one can before they pass out. But then the very unfortunate thing is, the very unfortunate thing is that the pig was killed in a car accident less than a month after the drug. Oh the, well, know. that's what their life is for. They have given you these animals. Go and consume them. So you drink wine, you die. We eat, mm -hmm. you finish. Move but on. then if you drink, like they say, if you drink, don't drive. Or if yeah. you drink, don't fight cows. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now anyway, survive. now the um another one. I was, like I said, the last story I want to talk about yeah. here before I hand over to the delectable and witty titi. Witty titi. I should go into rap. She's fourteen. Anyways, he's talking about a professional zombie. Now that that story actually got me. Um, got me surprised. Now, this guy quit his job yeah. to be a professional zombie. Chukuru. Sorry, sorry, quick one. How many cans of beer did he pop? That's it. Before he <laughs> took that I think both stories are linking with each other now. You know, Mexico. And <sighs> it, it, right on the screen, now you can see the pictures of the guy. He really looks professional as a zombie. So this is what he wants he to do now for a living. living. For a living, my guy, that is what he's doing like for a living. I wouldn't lie to you. I wonder how much he's making. If he's making enough well, money, zombies, zombies um, make money now. maybe some people so would, want, would want to change their line of business. I would definitely change my line of business if he's making a lot he's of money. Uh, well, you know, some people have some what? fetish. There are, there are guys that want their wives to dress like schoolgirls, and there are mm. girls that want blood drooling all over their guys, and them coming at dinner because they look very aggressive, like they're going to be. Are you one of them? No, I'm going to ask you. Titi, what is your fetish? Do, do I have a fetish? You should. You should do, because the way you're demonstrating about this... Uh, no, no, not, not this kind of fetish. No, I have a different kind of fetish. <laughs> you like tying people <laughs> up? No. Plugging. You... It's not. <laughs> <laughs> let me go now. Let, let me go now. Oh, you, want to do, you want to do the candle watch? <laughs> No, no, it's, a, it's just a different kind of fetish. Mm. Well, what, what, do you about, to what do you think about someone plucking off your, your hair in that area <laughs> down below? No, just don't go there. It off one by one. Please okay. don't go there. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. <laughs> don't go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyways, I'm sorry. anyways um, the man eventually quit his job and became a professional zombie. Mm. And apparently, it seems he's enjoying what he does. Like I always say, as long as it works for you, yeah. it's good. keep on with yeah. it. He puts food on the table, he pays your bills. Is good. Anyways, I'll hand over to Titi now. Titi has some awesome, awesome, ridiculous, funny, and witty stories as well to share with us. Yeah, being that I'm a cat lover, and every Nigerian believes that cats are, are Ogbanjes, and mm -hmm. Igbos called it a horrible name, Busu. How would you call it? Beautiful no, pussycat Busu. 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 Jeff would know. <laughs> Jeff <Busu. laughs> Apparently, if you work in a in a very tight place and your mm -hmm. tension is high and yeah. you need to, you know, meditate and be very good at your job, just get cats, put them all over in front of you. It's actually actually a Japanese company mm. is now putting cats in their, you know, in their offices and the thing helps the mood of For what? Workers. For what? How, how I'd like to wonder how you look at this cute What's animal. So you're you see, walking now, this. you're facing you on your system oh. and you're looking oh. at these exactly? creatures. I'm not exactly a cat lover yet, but these are very, very you start sending, very much. You start sending wrong mails now. Which I said, what is the, well, for me, I believe since they are foreign cats. Meaning what? You know, no, we are, they are cats and they are, for, she said, busu. Mm -hmm. I take that person out. What do you mean they are foreign cats? So a Japanese cat now is a foreign cat? No, no, no. <laughs> we have poos, 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 poos. Then what will you call it? A Japanese cat is a foreign cat. What will you call an American cat? Hmm? 
That's a Yankee cat. <laughs> Yankee cat. Anyways, I wonder if that will work in Nigeria. Put cats in the office. No, okay, work. and then if you want a word of, uh, especially guys that have quit their professional jobs to become zombies, mm -hmm. there's actually a new technique. And this one, of course, who else would do it if not a Chinese company mm -hmm. that have come up with, uh, you know, hairy socks. First of all, I hate seeing hairs on the legs of a girl. Let's talk of a guy. But anyway, they've come up with the hairy socks so that when you wear it and the pedophile is there staring at you, mm -hmm. he can see the hairy leg and move on. Hmm. Well, but do, do you know? Do you know the funny thing? There's some people who actually you talked about. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> okay, that is a complete turn off. I mean, but, no, there are people. But ladies, there are some ladies that really like, they, like they fall in love. They yeah. tell you they love. <laughs> exactly. I, I was about to say that. that it looks like it's this is, yeah, this is I'm just, it's like, we love us of yeah. It looks like New Yam. <laughs> I mean, because New Yam with the hair. New Yam. I mean, you. that's Jeff would know. <laughs> Jeff would know New Yam. Uh, of course not. But you know, there are yeah. actually guys that love hairy girls. I'm going to say that. It might not be a turn off for certain guys. that love hairy girls. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example, right? Back in school, I had this lecturer who, you know what his fetish was? We were sitting now eating and drinking one, and the guy was like, Man, when this baby came inside, see the yams on her legs. Wow. For a guy, to, for a man to enjoy looking at the yams on the, on the girl's legs, other guys would enjoy the hairs on the girl's no, legs. No, no, no. You know what I think? I think that man was deprived of carbohydrates growing up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe that, that particular yam is Adonis. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, anyway, you know, he, uh, Bernard uh, introduced me as the uh, witty one, but imagine when you're witty and you're pretty at the same time. Oh. <laughs> that means you eat for free. Because in this uh, Chinese restaurant, if mm. you're good looking, you eat for free. Wow. And if you're bad looking, I, I actually like this concept because they encourage more people to be beautiful. But, 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 but you know the problem about this? Mm. People like me cannot go to China. Why? Because I would suffer overfeeding. I mean, no, no, before, no, no, not you. No, look at me now. What's wrong with you? Just I mean, every time of, I would eat for free, now, eat for, for free, for free. We'll, we'll keep eating for free now. Imagine if you should marry Aziza, the musician that has to walk around with long, long dress. Okay, I'm so bad to call names. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 think, I think she's beautiful the way she is. Yeah, I think she actually is. I, 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 I'm a sucker for people. We have to, we have to locate beautiful. this place. But anyway, all I'll say is, China. the Chinese um, restaurants will relocate to Nigeria. To Nigeria, yeah, yeah, we are trust me, they will run out of And the red eye guys are here. On that note, on that hungry, on that hungry, good looking, Business Chinese uh, meal. It's been a while since I did Chinese man. anyway. But on that note, we would like to go on a very, very short break. We'll be back after paying our bills. Don't go anywhere. It is still red eye, and we have more topics to dissect. We'll be right back after this break. Here is red eye.